I found it really quite impossible to care. I, I think that there's probably several reasons why the stuff like this got lost. Why so? Because you're not America. interested in that era? I don't or know. Well, I'm, not, particular I'm not really, but I, I, I wasn't completely controlled by that. I did listen to the records and I found it very difficult. But I think the artwork was quite good because it wasn't, um, it wasn't foul, modern, you know, kind of um, outrageous pantomime stuff. It was very, very complimentary, I think, to the artists, which I think is quite rare. But ultimately, I don't really care. Do you listen to any old stuff at all? Apart yeah. from early Sandy Shaw, presumably. Well, <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do. Yeah, I'm really locked in, in, in the very early 60s, but... Um, I can appreciate lots of stuff from the 1950s, but... Like, like what? Mm, well, I don't know. Billy Fury? <laughs> <laughs> Almost. <laughs> but not um, the Clovers, no. It's Morrissey, before we look at the book, um, perhaps you could try and explain the extraordinary appeal of Joy Division and now New Order, speaking as a fellow Mancunian. Mm. I don't know whether I could explain it. Um, I mean, they're treated quite unlike any other band in Britain. Yes, really, they aren't are. They? I think um, I think most people I, I think most people's vision of Joy Division is entirely coloured by the death of Ian Curtis, and it's always really the, the really only factor that, that um, people seem to discuss. Um, Joy Division were one group that, that I, I really didn't take to that much. Did you used to go and see them in Manchester? I saw them a few times by accident, and, <laughs> but I, could, I, I can now completely appreciate their appeal. But I look upon Ian Curtis and, and certainly New Order uh, as neither singers or, or lyricists, but uh, as symbolists. I think they were quite accurate, uh, and they, um, they, they had the spirit of, of the times. And, but I think it was totally false. It was like people saying, well, yes, this is how life is, totally without emotion, which, of course, they weren't. And we are totally hard people, which, of course, they weren't. It was like this complete affectation uh, of people wanting to be something that they weren't. I find it quite sad, but in a musical sense, I hear nothing whatsoever. But, um, what about the book then, and does that the sum book, up what people you saw in stage in Manchester? Um, the book confused me. When it was straightforward, written in a, almost a, a diary fashion, I, I found it quite interesting. What about but, all those quotes from yeah, Ruth Lecter and all that um, sort of strange stuff? Or ostentatious, it was very, very boring. But um, ultimately, I, I would support, uh, at the end of the day, I would support New Order and uh, Joy Division. But um, with some confusion, I'll admit.